Hi everyone! Hi guys! This is another episode of Mama Rogers and the Kingdom Ark. With us today is Milady and Mama Rogers. And we will be talking about the beginnings again. Milady, do you want to read our scripture? Yes. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And that's matter. Matter. That's matter. What's matter? Well, matter is everything that God created. Everything is made of matter. Whatever you see is made of matter. Anything that has volume or weight is matter, my lady. So, do you have volume? Yes. What's volume? Yeah. Volume it takes up space. So, I take up space in the world. You take up space in the world. Anything that takes up space. We have a very special guest today, Maria. Hi, Maria. Everybody give a high five or give her a hand. She is going to help us with our lab today. Uh, our plan is to measure the volume of different items. We are measuring liquid volume, we are measuring dry volume. And we are also measuring the weight and the density. We don't know too much about the density yet. We will explain that in another lesson. Today we're just going to add a little bit of math to our science because as you know, my lady, you have to know math for science, right? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. What about you, Maria? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Well, you must learn math if you want to be a scientist. Okay? okay so, so uh, my lady, do you want to start uh, showing what we have prepared for our lab today? Yeah, what are these? These are graduated cylinders. So we have graduated cylinders. Why are they called graduated cylinders? They're long cylinders and then they're skinny on the inside. Yes, and they're graduated because they have lines that measure how much of an item you put in this cylinder, okay? They come in different sizes because if you want to measure small items, you're going to have to small, have smaller cylinders. And if you want to have larger items, you are going to use these larger beakers, beakers which are also graduated here. Okay. All right, what else do we have, my lady? So we have some plastic items. We have a metal screw, a glass cup, some rocks, and then a piece of wood. Okay. Yeah, Maria, we have a data table, okay, because everything scientists do, they have to write it down, otherwise you forget your, whatever you were measuring, right? All right, Milady, what, so are you guys ready to start our lab? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a medium size or a smaller size uh, beaker. So we filled the beaker here with water, okay? So it says the beaker, it, it has about 50 milliliters of water. Can you guys see it? 50 milliliters of water. It's kind of like half full of water. And what are we going to do to measure volume? So we are going to put the screw. Sure, we can do the screw. That, it does it fit? Hold on, let me see. Uh, not really, so we're gonna have to have a larger beaker. Okay. So, so okay. she just dropped the screw into the beaker and you can see the water level, did you see it, went a little bit higher, right? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Because whenever you put something and drop something into the water, it takes the space of the water and now instead of 100 milliliter, we have 160 milliliter. Okay. So, so we're going to subtract how much water was originally in it from how much water it is in now. Well, very good. So can you do that? So we're going to do 160 minus 150. Okay, go ahead. Which is 10 milliliters. So yes. So the liquid volume of the screw is 10 milliliters. So you can write that into your box. 10 ml. Milady, are you writing? Oh, sorry, Maria, are you writing 10 milliliters? 
All right. And one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. So you can write one cc under dry volume. Dry volume is measured in cubic meters or centimeters. All right, and now we are going to weigh the uh, screw. Let me turn it on. The screw or the whole beaker? No, just the screw. We don't need the water for, for weight. All right, let me see. There we go. So now you can put the screw on the scale. And how much does it weigh? 20 point 75 grams. 20.75 grams. So write that down. So that's how heavy it is. All right. You're going to have to measure, uh, read it by it sitting flat on the table. When you tilt it, you know, you're not going to, you're going to get a different measurement. So how much water is in there? Um, yeah, 50 milliliters, okay? So when you drop different items, I need you to measure how many milliliters are in there, okay? The bear doesn't weigh anything. 0 0.00 grams. No, that's zero. Okay. All right, it's 76 grams, 0 0.05. Okay. For whatever reason, 76.05 mm -hmm. grams. And we're going to put it in the water. Okay, Maria, I can help you. That's it. 500. Okay, what are you measuring? This rock. Okay, I think you should take a smaller beaker because it will show the displacement a little bit more exactly. So, right here we have how many milliliters of water? 50. 50, okay. We can, so, what do we have? A rock. You write the rock right here. Not up there, not down here. 100 milliliters divided by 76.05 grams. All right. So, and now we're going to put it in there. In there. So you have 50 milliliters and now it's Six. what? 60. Yes, okay. 60. Yes, it is 60. So you have to do 60 minus 50 and that will give you the volume. 60. Minus 50. Can you write it down? I can help you. So we're going to. By yourself? Yeah. You can write it like this. 40.94 So parents, if you'd like to do this experiment with your children at home, you can use any type, any type of uh, graduated cups. You might have them in the kitchen. You can use uh, customary measures like uh, of volume, whatever you may have in the kitchen, that's all right. The objective is understanding that any, any piece of matter, any matter, when you drop it in the water, it displaces the water and you can actually measure the volume of an item by doing so. And we, are, so we don't have to be exact, we are just playing around, we're just learning the ideas of different things and when they go to school and they, they learn any further, uh, they will be able to understand the lessons much better. So don't get frustrated, it's supposed to be fun, learning is fun. We're learning about the Lord how he made everything and we're learning science from a godly perspective. So the only thing I need help finding out is the drive. Uh, no, I don't, no, I don't want it to okay. if it goes through. Alright, well now we're measuring your fingers as well. Okay, all the way at eight hundred fifty? 
eight, I think. Yeah. Eight hundred and yeah, fifty. Okay, so it went. Oh wait, hold it, hold it. We have a wrong measurement. First, we have to know how much water there is without the bear. Okay. okay, so because we, we changed it, so right? So, 700. Oh, yeah, we it. It was at, but the last time it was at 500. Milliliters, and now it's where? Well. And now it's at 700. 700 millimeters, and after we put the bear in, how much? The bear is actually floating, and that has something to do with density, which we're going to talk about in a different five. lesson. Is it because the inside is hollow? It's because there is not a lot of weight in the inside. Go ahead. So how much do we have now? Um, 805. 850. So, okay, the first number was 700. So 850 minus 700. That's the volume of the spare. Okay, so 100 millimeters, uh, milliliters is 100 cc, cubic centimeters. So it's one to one. Okay, uh, uh, five millimeters equals to five cubic centimeters. 50 milliliters equals to 50 cubic centimeters. It's one to one. Okay, so All right. Hi, Maria. Did you learn something today? Yeah, I did. Do you want to share? Sure. All right. What I learned was when you put something in water, the water gets bigger and taller. When you take it out, it goes back where it was. All right, and you can measure the volume. That's how you measure volume. Milady, it's your turn. Have you learned something today? Yes. Okay, do you want to explain? What I learned is sort of what Maria has learned is that when you put something in water that has volume or mass, the water will go higher because it's taking up space, but when you take it out, the water will go back to the height it normally was since there's no nothing in it. Right, when you put something into the water, the water is displaced, okay? So that's one of the vocabulary words that we're learning, displaced, the water is displaced. So, and what did you do with your findings? So, um, each item that I had put in water, I put on the left side, which was a screw, a bear, rocks, and a glass cup. And then I first recorded the measurement of how much water was in it. And then when I put the rocks in, I measured how much higher the water went. And then I measured the cubic um, for the drive volume. And then I took each separate item and I put them on the weight scale and measured it. And then I measured the density. Okay, so the density is something we will be talking about in the future. It is important in science. We are just touching on it now. But I think we learned enough for today, right? What do you think? I think we're good. All right, guys, then uh, that's all for today. And we will see you. Bye, guys. Bye. Next time. Bye.